Jake Hansen, a nice victory for you guys tonight, 5-0 over uh, Odense, just before the final four, uh, semi-final uh, against them. How do you uh, see the game tonight as it uh, progresses? Uh, well, I think we finally played a, we played a 60 minute game tonight. Uh, we didn't take too many penalties and our PK was good. I mean, we, uh, I don't know if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, we met with, we had a little team meeting and we just talked about like goals to set for the rest of the year and that's something, our power play and our PK, it's been very inconsistent throughout the year and those are some goals we set. Our power play was, you know, a good movement today. I think we had one power play goal. Uh, we, had, we had a few chances. But, you know, when our PK gets going, you can thrive off that, and then the power play and everything comes together with that. And before with this, you know, our PK, we were giving up a couple of games, and then our power play was, you know, our PK's bad, and then our power play's good. And, you know, with, to have success and start winning, you got to have those even out where they're both pretty good. And uh, tonight, I think, it was definitely a good start. You know, it was, it's just one game, but it was definitely a good start for the guys. Um, we don't want to talk too much about the injuries. That's past tense. Uh, you've got some guys back. Bergie's back, um, back on the top line with with you and uh, Malden, and seems like it's be beginning to work for you guys again. Uh, what's it like getting him back? And, and even more, maybe, what's it like to keep having to change the, the, the lines to, to keep things working and then get someone back? And, and how long does it take to make it work? Yeah, I mean, definitely with the injuries, it's been tough because I mean, I've, I've been in and out with uh, new lines. Uh, quite a bit and that's definitely a, it's a tough thing and then with when you have guys come back when Greener came back he was able to skate a little bit more than Bergie was able to do so like me and him and uh, Matias we clicked right away and then last week uh, Bergie came back but I mean he he wasn't quite in the shape he wanted to be in you know but he had a chance to play and I knew I knew we were gonna be fine like me and Bergie we enjoy playing with each other at least it's nice having the you know speed on the outside and then Greener can dish it but yeah I mean it definitely it takes time and you know, he needed to get the legs underneath him. And, I mean, like tonight here, I mean, we, our line, I felt like we created a lot of chances. And, uh, you know, with hopefully going forward here, we can try to stay healthy. And that's, I think, with that, only our lines will only get, you know, better and get used to each other and things like that. On a personal note, you've, you've had a couple of problems putting the puck in the net yourself. You're setting up a lot of goals, making a lot of stuff happen out there. What, what kind of needs to happen for you to get that uh, poke in the – in the net and, and, and get it working for you? I just got to keep grinding and keep pushing away. I mean, the opportunities I'm getting, I'm getting breakaways. I'm able to, like, you know, kind of read the D-man with picking up those passes or using my speed. And uh, I just kind of got to find a way with, I feel like me with coming in here with, uh, I'm coming in a little too fast right now and I'm giving myself less options. But obviously it's, you know, if you got a D-man chasing you, that's a little different. But I just got to keep grinding, keep working hard here. I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep passing the puck, moving to set guys up. But, uh, you know, it just takes one shot to get you back in there. Because, you know, before that, I was, you know, scoring goals, five holes up, up the ice, offside on the power play. And, I mean, I usually, I hate to say it, but I usually kind of go on little streaks like this where, like, you know, you, just, you fight it, everyone goes through it. And right now I'm fighting it. But as long as I keep getting chances, opportunities, two-on-ones, breakaways, creating stuff, five-on-five five in the offensive zone, it'll eventually come. Uh, lastly, you uh, play again Sunday here against Sunni. You just, uh, they took a good scalp tonight against uh, Altborg and one at home. Uh, how are you guys going to prepare for them? Oh, we'll hopefully get a good meal upstairs and then uh, uh, get some sleep tonight. We'll come back to the rink tomorrow, a nice little easy skate. And, then, uh, you know, for us, we just got to come out right away. And, you know, obviously it's, it's tough to play a 60-minute game, you know, have everyone going. But, you know, for us, we haven't had a great start. And, you know, I feel like for us, if we come out, play great in the first, you know, five, ten minutes, everyone kind of just kind of gets into it. And obviously it's, you know, easier said than done. But, you know, for us, we need to come out that first five, ten minutes, come on them hard, use our speed, and uh, just keep, you know, plucking away and hopefully uh, – you know, keep getting these wins right now. Obviously, we had a little tough streak before this, but tonight was a step in the right direction. It was definitely a good W, and hopefully we can do the same thing on Sunday. So, bro, thanks a lot, and good luck on Sunday. Thank you.